All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to train Yellow V8 locally. So first things first, you'll need images so that you can show the AI what it needs to detect. I use Lunar V2 to get my images, but you can use whatever you wanna use. And I'm sure there's stuff on GitHub. So if you're using Lunar V2, it will be in your, and you have the, you'll need the collect images checkbox enabled. And then it would start automatically collect images in your data folder but i moved mine here and you'll need preferably like around 500 plus images at least but i'm going to be doing like three just because i don't want to make this video you know really long once you get your images go ahead and go to roboflow.com and create an account once you create an account go to projects up here and create a new project i'm gonna call it tutorial one we're detecting objects and i'm detecting players create public project create and now you'll need to select your folder or files i'm gonna do files because i have I'm just doing three. Save and continue. The, you can assign images to like your friends if they want to help out. It, it's nice if you have like thousands of images, but again, I only have three, so I'm good. And then start annotating. All right, this is where you draw the box around the players or objects, whatever you're detecting press enter after you're done drawing the box there's the next one and like if you get it a little small you can like go on these little the, the edge of it and do that like move it res resize it however you want press enter next and there's no players in this one so you'll mark it or I'm gonna mark it as null next the player enter and we're good so that's that once you're done annotating all your images you go back and then add three or add however many images to a data set and you'll probably want to leave this the same like the default but it's not adding any images to my test folder I'm going to change it so that it puts one in each there we go just so that i have a test folder create new version um i would just leave this how it is you can change it if you want but i just use the default and there's augmentation you can add images it'll automatically rotate them and stuff but i'm not going to do that and then create. All right, now you can export the data set and we're doing locally. So you'll want to download zip to computer and yellow V8. Once it downloads, just open it in here, extract it and open the folder. So this is the data set. This is where all the images and labels are stored. These are just coordinates of where you drew the boxes. And you'll need to edit this as well because the default paths right here are wrong. So what you can do is just leave that open. And then for each of these, just find the images folder. So train images, click it once so it highlights and then hold shift and right click on it. And then this will be here, copy as path. And then you'll just replace that and delete the quotes and do that for all of them. So valid, copy as path. test cool so that's done just save it control s or file 
and save and close out of that and that's done so now you're gonna need python if you don't have it already i use python 3.10.5 64-bit version it's the recommended one and once you in once you download that and then start to install it there will be a checkbox that says add python to path make sure you click that or else it won't work and at the end of the installation it might ask if you want to disable path length limit just check it or click on it and then that's that'll be done for python so that's pretty simple and then once that's done you can install the packages you need to for yolo so you'll go in this data set folder and then you'll click in this empty space in the file path type cmd for command prompt short for command prompt it'll open up a new window in the same file path that you're in and then you can type pip install yolo and then press enter mine's already installed so it was really fast but yeah that's that then i'll have this in the description as well this is the command to train the data set it's just telling yolo to train a yolo v8 small model they have uh, nano um small then yolo v8 medium etc i'm doing small because it's pretty fast and then for the data this is just the data .yml file so you'll need to copy the path for that as well just like you did for those folders so select it hold shift right click copy this path and then replace this right here and then this epochs is how many times the ai tries to get better right now i have it as 10 just for the video but you'll want to do like a hundred or more um but yeah i'll just do 10 and then the image size this is the image size of this so it's 640 which is correct right here and plots i have no idea what it does but it was in the default command so i'm just leaving it <laughs> so yeah so just copy that and then you'll paste it in here but make sure it's the same path as your data set folder because it needs to find this file so yeah so you'll paste it in here i don't know why n was that but okay so paste it in here press enter and it will start doing its thing it's just gonna download the um yolo v8 small model and then create cache files for the labels and then it'll start training so yeah it's going really fast because I only did three images at 10 epochs so yeah mine's already done so once it's done it'll say where it's stored so there's um last.pt and best.pt you want to get the best yeah so you'll just go to this file path which is in the data set folder it created a new folder right here runs detect train waits and it's right here um, it's a PyTorch file, so if you're on AMD, I think you'll have to convert it to Onyx, but it's pretty simple and there's tutorials. Um, and then for Lunar, you can just drag this into the YOLO V8 uh, folder and replace the current one, and there you go. So that's how you train YOLO V8. It's actually pretty simple. YOLO V5 and V7 are pretty much the same, it's just different commands, but yeah.